I'm your host Fabian and you're watching Football Fanatics. Right, nice. We're talking women's football in SVG. Not too long ago, the women's team, the national women's team, won the Windward Islands football tournament. And they did it in fine style, I must say. But when did all this women's football start in SVG? Who was the person who first called the women to get together? And what was his thinking behind it? Well, we had an interview with him, so take a look. My name is Simo Walron. W A L R O N D. Yeah, and they say my nickname is Roll It Football Coach for many years. And then the girls now, I officially launched that in 94. Um, They've been coming before, we've been doing things before and thing, and then a lot more girls started to see where they want to come and thing. So I uh, officially put it over the radio and TV and say, and start to come. And, and there's where that breath of life came from. These girls started coming out and so. But when them girls started to get beautiful and get good shape and things, them girls start to go and make baby and things. That vex me. They even start to play good yet. I had some girls, some down leeward, girl in them hot, hot, hot. I said, well, boy, St. Vincent has a real good side. Next, next year, they fat. Boy, well, vex. They, 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 they vex me plenty till I get fed up with the football. You know. and they, they make me kind of change and so. Well, apart from that, the, the park started to give me trouble. Eh? They started to take with the park for me and thing. And then we had to go down Sand Hill and then the girls and them start to come scanty. I say, well, we can develop this way. You have to have some home and you have to have some order and responsibility at a common time and so on. And then it wasn't like how it used to be on Victoria Park. When we say four, it was plenty of them for four o'clock. And we go until minutes to six because I used to say we ain't gonna get ourselves in no trouble and don't want to hear well. All the being by role, the coaching clinic when you all get in trouble. So I'm finishing before six, I'm going. And, uh, and women get started, get brave, bold, and it should have started to come out and play play. Roll it, boy. I feel your pain, I feel your pain. Anyhow, I was talking to some youngsters the other day, right? And we were talking about which tournament is the best football tournament in the world. And one of them snotty nose little thing tell me the Champions League. But I nearly hit him a slap. Champions League? As compared to the World Cup? You had to be joking. He is serious. Let me tell you something. He was trying to make the argument that you could get to watch the Champions League final every year. And for World Cup you had to wait every four years. Tell me which one better. One year bragging rights versus four years of bragging rights. I think four years better. I mean, hey, come on. Start in 1930, long before the Champions League start in the 50s. And it continues to draw the highest watching audience in all of sport. Not just football, but in all of sport. Don't get me wrong, eh? I love my Champions League, eh? It's a quick fix. But one month of football, every day, culminating in one final, winner takes all, loser goes home, and you don't have two legs to get right, 
it can't get more exciting than that. So for all you football lovers, remember, World Cup and everybody else after. You're watching Football Fanatics. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.